deadly diseases that were once wiped out are the headlines of today's news stories. Why is this happening and what does it mean for our future? Our insider has the answers. We're hearing more about outbreaks as the days go by. Uh, vaccine controversies, the CDC is reporting over a thousand cases of measles. And who would have thought? We thought I that know. was just eradicated. Well, like, we're it, done. Exactly. It was considered eradicated in the year 2000. But, right. But uh, we've been getting uh, trickling. And now, this past year, it's been a significant number of, uh, of reported cases of measles. So can you put this for uh, perspective for us and what it means for our public health? Well, as a whole? It, it, what happens is there's something called herd immunity, which a lot of the people that do not want to vaccinate do not realize, because there is an obligation to the community. So when the kids are not vaccinated and they go out into other areas, you know, with, with, um, the, uh, with kids that are more prone to infections or even older adults or mm -hmm. people that are more prone, they, go, go in a, they, they get it, they're going to go ahead and pass it on. And then that starts to create an issue with what we call the herd immunity. And then that's when it becomes a problem because when it starts to drop after, I think it's 95% or something like that, then now it's not considered anymore an eradicated vaccine and we have to start a whole new process of it. So. When it first came out, I was thinking, nah, it's impossible. Measles, come on. And so, and yeah. we started hearing more numbers and up in Washington and now in Florida. And it's now become like a concern yeah. where parents New are York. going, what is this? Yeah, it was, uh, there was an outbreak in New York. Uh, in parts of New York, even New York City, with some, some um, unvaccinated children. And it's not funny to get the measles. I mean, it's extremely dangerous, isn't it? It is very dangerous. And people don't realize that. The problem, one of the problems that we have is that even like when I teach you know, medical students and all that, they've never seen measles. And a lot of people have never seen it. So it's going to be an issue moving forward if this becomes more of, a, you know, more of an epidemic, because how do they diagnose it? when you've never seen it. So you can see pictures and you can see and talk to them and all that, but it, it's something totally different. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's very scary. The potential is. is very scary. And unfortunate. As we get into our discussion, I want to take a moment and let our viewers know that they can call in if you have a question regarding vaccines, the measles, 855-796-4475. We are on standby and we'd love to hear from you. So vaccinations, as we know, can be life-saving and prevent hospitalizations. According to the CDC, the chickenpox vaccine saves approximately 50 child deaths and thousands of hospitalizations every single year. The CDC says a number of vaccines are vital, especially for children. Take a look. The ability to vaccinate against disease is heralded as one of the greatest medical advances of modern civilization. Hand washing before surgery and clean water supply, um, it really ranks right up there. Dr. Robert Jacobson is medical director of Mayo Clinic's Community Health Immunization Program. He says we may be surprised to learn getting vaccinated is largely voluntary. There are for civilians no federal or national requirements for vaccination. When you hear about mandates or requirements, you're actually referring to school, daycare, and college rules. In the U.S., a group of scientists and physicians called the Advisory Committee on Immunization Practices recommends which vaccines will do us the most good from infancy through old age. Now, what's on that list? We have measles, mumps, and rubella, of course, diphtheria, tetanus, and pertussis, flu vaccine, pneumococcal conjugate vaccine, the meningococcal vaccines. We have hepatitis A, hepatitis B. Dr. Jacobson says while studies have proven there is no link between autism and vaccines, some parents still have concerns. And that question mark that has been raised has been harmful enough to cause some families to choose not to get vaccinated and have left their children and frankly, members of the community at risk for measles. Lax attitudes about getting vaccinated allowed a measles epidemic to explode in France with 14,000 cases in the first six months of this year. Frankly, across uh, Europe, 33 countries are now uh, suffering outbreaks of measles. And finally, adults need to stay up to date as well. Only 40% get their recommended flu shot. Chicken pox and mumps can have devastating consequences and... Every adult should have by now received a, a dose of diphtheria, tetanus, acellular pertussis. Yet Dr. Jacobson says only 6% of adults have received that shot. For Medical Edge, I'm Dennis Dota. Now, we know that often uh, vaccines are required, doctor, for you know, most schools, I would say, and sometimes in workplaces. So if they're so important, why aren't there any laws requiring them? 
Well, that's a good question. I really don't know the political part of it, why there aren't any laws, but um, I, I wouldn't be surprised, and some of the states are starting to push against the exemptions. Mm -hmm. So what they were considering exemptions now, even religious exemptions, are, are now getting are not being accepted by the state. They're all so, being overruled, if Yeah, they're being overruled. So I think it wouldn't be surprising if in the very near future they become more mandatory. So is that a reason for not to get vaccinated? Uh, religious concerns? That's, what else? That's one of the reasons. Religious concerns. The, the, main, the main issue, actually, is misinformation, for lack of a better word. Uh, but there's a lot of things out there. And then, you know, we live in a world now where everybody wants to stay healthy and they want things that are organic and things that are from nature. And they do feel like if they're putting in you know, a certain type of vaccine into a child, um, that there may be issues there. But it's the total opposite. Mm -hmm. All we're doing is Completely. helping their immune system protect against a very potentially devastating disease. And that's why this is a good time to bring up some myths, uh, some misconceptions that people uh, sometimes hear. So let's clear the air on some of these because I think it's important. Here's the first one. Uh, first myth, vaccines cause the illness they're trying to prevent. Yeah, that, that is absolutely not true. Completely I think false. there's something like one in one million may have um, a, like a similar type of illness from the vaccine, but it's actually not the illness. It's actually just the body's response, immune response to that, to the vaccine. So, right. it, yeah, that's not true. Let's look at uh, myth number two, uh, that side effects aren't worth the risk. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, the side effects are very mild, mostly. Um, there is a, about maybe about... Uh, you know, some kids will have a fever. The most common side effects is a reaction to the site of the injection. And it's redness, some pain, a little, a bit, little pain. bit of swelling, a little bit of a lump there sometimes. But again, that's even maybe 10% or less. Exactly. And the fever is usually well controlled and it's not usually a problem. And normally just a day or so and yeah, you're good to well, go. Well, yeah, the, the, since this is a live virus, sometimes the fever may not show up till several days after the vaccine. Okay. But even then, you know, we, we, we have it documented, it's monitored, and we, you know, help the parents out if there is a reaction. Again, it's Such not a small a, number. Yeah, it is, it's, it's, it's a small number. Okay, not this one is a huge myth, but let's just read it anyway because we want to create awareness here. Uh, they aren't tested enough and and the ingredients are harmful. Oh my goodness. Well, it's actually interesting because the, uh, the measles uh, vaccine was probably the most extensive testing ever because to try to disprove the theory about the autism or aut autistic spectrum disorder causing that. There's never been a study like that. And, and the interesting part is not only did it show that it did not cause it, but actually kids that were not vaccinated had a higher chance of having autism Look at that. and the reason for that is if you think about it, it's more of a common sense thing you know parents at we give it a 12 to 15 months so parents that were concerned about certain things with their child were saying you know what i don't want to vaccinate so they did not vaccinate these child and then later on when they did the study retrospectively they found that a significant number of these kids had autism and to learn more about vaccinations and why they are so important, you can download our app. And remember, if you have a question, reach out. We've got several ways. Email us by visiting our website, allhealthtv.com, or give us a call, 855-796-4475, whatever you prefer.